I have a couple of ways to take a jar like this and take the top off with one arm. Um, <clears throat> I have these Dyson mats, which are great, and I'll put a link down below to where to get them, but they are kind of expensive. These work the best, honestly. Um, I would definitely suggest getting at least two or three. Um, I use one here and I can move it around if I want to. Um, and then I have one at my boyfriend's place. And then if I go somewhere else, like I have a third mat that I, you know, if I want to, I can bring it with me. So uh, these are awesome. Um, and I'll show how to open the jar on that. And then also I have these uh, grip liners, which these are not as great as the Dyson mats, but you can get them really cheaply from like Home Depot. I actually got this particular roll, um, which this is only half the roll. I cut half of it and left it at my boyfriend's place. But I got this roll uh, from the container store for like $4.99. And you can cut squares of, you know, whatever size that you need it for to put somewhere. So uh, if you want something to be, you know, like upstairs or whatever, you know, like somewhere else in your home and you don't want to go for the Dyson mats, you can get these non-grip mats and they work pretty decently. They just, you know, the Dyson mats are definitely the best. So on a Dyson mat, basically you just put it there and it grips it and you can open the cap and close the cap and just like so. Same thing goes for the grip liner like i just put it on here and same thing grips it pretty well you know this one it, it actually turns sometimes so you have to you know uh angle it so that it's not going to do that but what i do if i don't have either of these options available is um i put my hand and i shift my weight mostly on the palm of my hand and um, if you can see, I have it gripped where my thumb is here and my two fingers are here. Uh, my pinky and my ring finger are here. And my pinky and my ring finger and my palm are mostly what's holding the jar in place. And then I use my thumb and my first finger to just untwist the cap and open it. So that is a great option for if you just don't have those things available, you're over at somebody else's place, whatever the case may be, you can still open the jar um, just using your forefinger and your thumb. So um, that option, actually I end up using a, a lot because I just don't want to walk over to the mat. So um, um, three options for opening jars like this. Um, and sometimes the, the jars can be a little tight. If they're too tight, then the Dyson mat or the non-grip or the grip uh, mat is going to be the best options to use.